Hey guys, uh, welcome to uh, Wasteland Games. This is the uh, the fourth installment of building my first set, or I guess, I don't know, models for uh, <laughs> a billion suns destroyers. Uh, basically, I decided to build a few ships out of um, wall anchors. And if you have been following along, you might have seen how I, built, I put them together ultimately. And this is now me uh, building the front cannons for for the ships themselves i basically used uh i guess the jumper switches for uh, motherboards and then i use a very particular set of um paper clips i wanted to find if you if you notice these paper clips are actually have little sort of um a pattern on them and basically i found them at staples uh but you know what honestly just use regular paper clips it's not entirely worth it i was using the ones that had a pattern on them because I thought, you know, it might show up as machine guns and, you know, maybe on a, on a car, it would, it might look a little better, uh, than using it on a ship like this. But anyways, that's what I chose to do. And, uh, you know, I still kind of like the way they turned out. Um, but now that I've got the ships all done in primer, now it's time to actually paint the, the, <laughs> the ship itself. And I chose to uh, paint the under hull of, of the ships uh, red, very similar to the, uh, the Yamato from uh, Star Blazers, which is one of my favorite all-time animated uh, TV series that I used to watch as a kid, um, you know, back in the, I guess, the late, the late 70s. And uh, now I'm actually started watching it all over again, which is fantastic. And and uh, since I've been building these ships, I've been, well, yeah, I started watching off, watching the uh, Common Empire, um, basically Star Force with the, versus the, the Common Empire. So anyway, uh, so I've got the, yeah, I've got the underside all colored in red and I moved on to basically doing, a, well, doing a wash on the entire model itself. I thought, you know, if I put in like, a, actually I use sort of like a, a brown wash just so that I can get it sort of uniform across everything else. So, um, so you're going to want to try to try to do something like that with a, with a wash. And once that's all dry, um, you know, don't worry about it getting a little too, you know, too dark. You can always go over it and highlight stuff like that and do some touch-ups, uh, afterwards as, as I had done. But, um, yeah, the first thing I decided to do, to do was start doing some, um, just some some dry brushing uh to try to get some of the gun uh the side uh, broadsides um highlighted and it was uh, much easy much easier for me to just use a smaller uh thinner brush So with the uh, the ink dry on both the top and the bottom, I and I was pretty happy with it. I started to actually do some do some highlighting, and uh, originally the the lighter shade of gray was I thought it was a little too bright. So I decided to just do a little bit of a base highlight with uh, a darker shade of gray, and it turned out that we actually, we actually had bought a brand new uh, gray acrylic, so I was able to use that. Uh, so actually some of my, uh, some of my kids paints and yeah, it was just worked out perfectly for this, not too bright. And it was able to, I was able to kind of do some proper shading, uh, the way I wanted it to with, uh, with this shade of gray. All right, so with all the uh, the darker shade of gray uh, pretty much all finished up, I decided to move on to actually uh, doing some highlighting or, or, or dry brushing rather with the lighter shade of gray. And for this, I actually used the, uh, well, a little bit more of the thicker brush. And uh, what you wanna do is just skin it on the brush um, and then dry it off, uh, funny enough. As much as you can and then just start going over the raised areas and it really helps to kind of bring out some of the de uh, the details on your model um you know and i'm not too concerned with it being you know external <laughs> having a, an amazing paint job or anything like that this is just uh, really uh, a quick quick and easy paint job you know uh 
I think from a distance it will look pretty good. Yeah, so these look, they're starting to look pretty good. Um, you know, just gonna go one layer at a time and just kind of, you know, kind of mess around with what I like here. And now this is uh, <laughs> an interesting technique that I like to use with the brush is like really just kind of almost grind it into when I'm dry brushing and it just kind of smoothens it out. So the, um, yeah, the back half, the engine, I decided to kind of, I wanted to get the, the rings of the engine uh, showing through as much as I could. So I decided to dry brush that. And then I went back over all, some of the, the little um, ridges. I kind of touched it up with like the, the finer brush just to kind of give it a little bit of extra detail and kind of smooth out some of that rough uh, dry brushing that I had done. So with the top half of the hull pretty much all finished and I was pretty happy with it, I kind of moved on to uh, touching up the the uh, the bottom of the hull, um, you know, with the red and you know I just kind of went over a few of the areas that actually I got some of the gray paint on it by by accident and uh, you know I was pretty happy with uh, just kind of evening out the uh, the well the red itself. Um, in a lot of areas I just kind of really smoothed it out the key thing was to have the top half um, you know really showing its guns and the uh, the broadsides basically you could call them broadside missile silos I guess since this is a destroyer or it could be um, they could be hangar bays you know for a small craft that has like little tiny tiny ships inside coming out like little fighters um, kind of decided to make it a little bit more universal and um, you know in case I'm playing a different rule set I don't know I made three destroyers basically with the uh, a billion suns in mind um, you know I'm gonna put a fleet together and then I'm gonna decide what you know what kind of games I want to play with it with these I'm gonna add probably maybe something at the back in terms of um, you know like a flame or something like that maybe something blue I'm not entirely sure, but uh, for now, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna order some more flying bases. As you can see, I, only, I really only have a couple. I have some more, I just don't know where they are. So hopefully by the time I get to building the, uh, prob probably the battleship is gonna be the next one, or some fighters. Um, so hopefully I can find some of the flying bases that I do actually have somewhere. I, I just managed to put things in boxes and I never know exactly where, where, where they are. And then they just kind of show up at random uh, when I start working on a, a project that I get inspiration for and I need parts. So, uh, but I think these turned out pretty good for my first try. Uh, basically they're kit bashed with, um, you know, some computer parts, some paper clips, some zip ties, uh, some rubber, belts from a printer and of course you get this uh, wall anchor that um, you can buy basically a whole bag of them or a whole package of them for like 12 bucks um, you know for like 10 of them so you can build a lot of ships with some really cheap uh, household related parts you could probably go to a hardware store and get most of what you need in one visit and uh, be pretty happy with that. So anyways, hopefully you guys like this build. Uh, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Um, what should I build next? I'm planning on the battleship, but you let me know. Anyways, uh, thanks a lot for checking out this video and have a great day.